And a good Thursday evening, everyone. The 65th NHRA U.S. Nationals are already underway in Brownsburg. There's a chance at a milestone win for funny car driver J.R. Todd this weekend. He's going for an historic three-peat at the Big Go. J.R. stopped by earlier to talk about that and more. It is tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. The level of competition, it goes up and it goes up. It seems like it may have a, a big jump this year. There are a lot of really, really good teams in Funny Car in 2019. Does that seem to be the case? Yeah, it seems like every year, like you said, the competition level rises and rises. And I say that we're not doing well, but after winning the championship and winning the U.S. Nationals again last year, you know, your expectations of yourself and others kind of go up as well. And just we haven't performed as well as we'd liked up to this to this point. But looking back, we're kind of in the same spot that we were last year at this time. So we're not in a terrible place. And you did just fine at the end of 2018 Correct. with how that worked out for you. What did you guys learn from that run at the end of last season? Uh, just it's a matter of getting hot at the right time of the year, you know, and these guys did it. The, I say these guys, the DHL Toyota crew, they did it in uh, 2015 with Del Worsham as a driver pretty much at the same time of the year. So they have some really good notes to fall back on at these tracks that we go to. Luckily, we go to all the same races yeah. when that playoff starts. And actually, it all starts with, uh, you know, the U.S. Nationals here in Indy. I mean, they, uh, they've run well there in the past, and we've won the last two years and hoping we can do it uh, three times in a row now. Any pressure when it comes to points here? The countdown approaching quickly here. Do you do, you do a lot of math in that? just say let's just go get out and run the thing as best we can that's pretty much all i can do at this point is just uh go out there and, and, and race as hard as i can i know that i got the the best team behind me but yeah there's times like i look at the points and i'm stressing over like man we're eighth in points right now I, i'd rather be uh, fifth in points sure. like we were well, after the U.S. Nationals, but uh, that's the, the great thing about it is we got enough time to make up uh, ground and points. When you see the list of names that have won three straight at Indy, that's a short list of Hall of Famers <laughs> and world-class drivers on that. Do you kind of look at that and have a whoa moment that you, you could be putting yourself in that position? Here lately, there's been a few to remind me like, hey, I mean, there's only been so many that, that have ever done this and nobody's ever done it in the funny car class. So if if we could do that, that would be uh, just a dream come true. I mean, and more importantly, I just want to go out there and win just to uh, move ourselves up in the points, like I just said. But uh, at the end of the day, if, uh, if we have a three in the row, there's going to be a big celebration on the west side of Indy. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Team shop out there in Brownsburg. Funny car qualifying starts tomorrow night at Lucas Oil Raceway. Same for Top Fuel. They continue Saturday and Sunday. They'll have five runs in all in the Nitro Class qualifying. The top 16 make the final ladder. The eliminations start Monday morning at 11 right there on Labor Day. Looks like a great weekend for racing out at Lucas Oil Raceway.